Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Mortal Kombat Deception Extras playthrough. A little bit of new, like news here, or like an update. Since my last video that I did of this, um, my guide that I was using, which was from Kamidogu.com, they their website's offline or shut down, which is incredibly frustrating considering I'm sure those guys were trying their best over there, and I know funding a website's kind of expensive. Uh, so yeah, my condolences to them, but now I'm using a GameFacts.GameSpot.com guide. Uh, the guide seems really but pretty competent, so I'm going to be following them. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I think the first one that we got to do is we have to go find Moloch. And the start location for this is located in, in F3. F3. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, okay, I know where that's at. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. All right, we've made our way to F... Yeah, here here we go. F3, yeah. Same. What we got to do for you? You there. I am Moloch, the Destroyer. I have trapped many victims in a cave near here. Find Dramin and tell him he must bring me that which we need so that we may feast. He <laughs> will know what you speak of. Go now, or we will consume you as well. Well, that just straight up, like, that was like, hey, I have the secret, but I'm going to tell you it, and then not, and then, and then tell you it anyway. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we have to go find Draman, and he is located, according to this, let's see here, he is located in the Netherrealm City Gates, passed through them, he is found in D6 behind Shinnok. Okay. Okay, here's Shinnok. Okay, D6. There he is, right on. What up, bruh? What is this? First, Moloch wants me to fetch Onyx shards. Now he has need of the device? Wait, he must have captured food. I shall fetch it immediately. 500 Onyx coins, and that is pretty much it. I don't think you have to actually go back to Moloch. So, uh, yeah, you'll now receive 500 Onyx coins and <laughs> Moloch wishes for the device. Gotcha. Well, we got that one done. And then now the next one, it says location F7 near a large boulder on the bank of the lava river. You will find Havoc idly standing about. Speak to him and you'll face him in Mortal Kombat. Have we have we done that? I I don't actually know. F7, huh? Well, um only one way to get over to F7 and figure this out. See, there's a little bit that I've actually forgotten cuz it's been, you know, you know, these sessions are done quite a bit away from each other, so it's hard to keep up. And I believe going south. Yeah, going south. F7. I'm havoc. I think we've done this, but I can't quite remember. Okay, here's Havoc. Have we done this? And if we have, I do apologize. It is a little bit hard to remember exactly where I'm at. That, and I don't know if this guide is in the exact same order as the other guide that I was using on Kamidogu.com. So, defeat Havoc while he is healing, and I am playing as Shujinko. Fuck. <laughs> Best way to start this off is a little ass. Oh, he is healing back. Okay, so I have to do like quick and dirty attacks here. A little three hit there. Come on, come on, get up. Oh, now he's doing me the same way. Don't uppercut me, daddy. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're. Oh, yeah, I have the ghetto punch. Bow. Come here. Come here. Go down, fucker. That does no fucking damage once you get that first one off. Trip his ass. Trip his ass. Oh, I got him anyway. He did a breaker and it didn't even matter. <laughs> Sweet. Ghetto fist for the win, man. Or Shaolin fist, as it's properly known as. Hell yeah, get that little juggle. Come, come here. Come here. Oh, dude, did you see a little shimmy I did during the fucking, like, camera uh, transition? I mean, I guess I could technically use, like, my weapon, but... Well, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll use a weapon. We'll cut this motherfucker. He likes pain. We'll kick him. Come here. 
He's, I'm, I'm literally walking into this man's fist. There. <laughs> I kept walking forward into like a literal like fucking trap. Okay, we got him. Havoc. Uh, defeated. Defeated. Okay, got, got him. My goodness, God. <laughs> I love this game, dude. It's so fucking funny. All right, let me look at the map. That way I have this open here, then I'll go back to my guide over here. So now, did Havoc's part. Oh, I can actually highlight this. Cool. Okay, Melina will be standing directly in front of the bridge in this area in H4. Uh, speak with her, and you will begin a battle with her. Okay, so the match stipulations are as follows. Defeat her before you bleed to death, uh, and she's not healing. All right, we are at H4. Well, let's see if I can manage this, folks, because uh, this could be hairy, man. <laughs> this could be pretty bad. I'm not messing around. Gotta go straight for weapon here. Okay, that's what I thought. Go straight for weapon, most damage like out the gate. The little chop, uh, mutant blade. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, I didn't know if combos was gonna be the best move or if doing just like straight up weapon was the best move. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, she is defeated. And now we need to go over to G3. There will be a wide, long bridge around this area. Follow it to its end, and you will find Cabal waiting for you. I think I just. Wait, the ball's right here. Fuck. <laughs> uh, look at the ball founder. Let me buy. Yes. Okay. Prepare for training. Wait, what? Huh. Come on. My dude, that was not the one I was reading. But now we get to freaking train and become Cabal. I'm sorry if there was a funny jump cut there, but I was reading this. Apparently, uh, over in G3, I'm in the wrong spot. Uh, it was supposed to be uh, dark combat. Uh-huh. But instead, we're over here actually practicing to be Cabal. So you want to join the ranks of the new Black Dragon. Your trials will be difficult. I will not accept weakness. Training will begin with the Sunbin basic high attacks. Well, folks, here we freaking go. We get to be Cabal. I like Cabal. He's a... Uh, um, what, what Mortal Kombat game was that? I think it was MK3 Ultimate. Way back on like SNES and Arcade. Cabal was probably one of my boys. He was probably like one of my favorites. Now for the basic high attacks in Goju Ryu. Okay. Wait, we're already swapping over to like the next fighting stuff. Foot, foot smasher? God, okay. Yeah, Cabal was actually one of my favorites. Him, Striker, Rain. <clears throat> Night Wolf was one of the really, really good ones in, in, uh, in my repertoire of fighting of uh, fighters. Low attacks. Okay. Got him. Yeah. You have done well. You have done well. Yes. Thank you. Next, learn these Goju Ryu power pop up attacks. All right. You know, it's kind of funny, and I'll admit this, right? I actually had forgotten that post game in MK Deception here, you can go through and they actually do give you more training for more characters, which is pretty badass like at least you don't at least they're not just like oh well this is the comp this is like the conquest mode these are the characters that we teach you in the conquest mode then you're done they actually give you more so uh excited for that little juggle juggle little y y x y gotta do like the timing there gotcha gotcha all right a ball <clears throat> and now we go over to the hook Hook swords, let's go. Hell yeah. Good old hook swords. Some classic. Swing them around the arena and throw them. <laughs> Ooh, that was just 
fucking gross, man. He just grabbed a hold of his shoulder, then just like. <laughs> All right, excellent. Finally, the hook sword basic lows. Okay, got some low. The hell of a stance. Just you want to look intimidating and make yourself look bigger. Hold the sword above your head. That was a pretty good looking one. Oh, that little, that little sweepy sweep. Oh, what the? That is not what I want to do. I want to do that like little like little hop around. Right on. Uh, I actually also think an MK9 uh, Cabal was one of my favorites yet again. Okay, pop-up attacks. I just always thought his character was really cool. Although, he's he lives very unfortunate with the breather thing on, but at least he looks cool. <laughs> so horrible. Okay. Break. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's nice. He's got some pretty good combos in his um, weapon stance. Okay, next we'll master the hook sword advanced combos. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, oh. What? The, uh, dude, bro, come on, man. Oh, that, that timing. You almost got to do like the second part of that like right away otherwise i think the last hit would miss okay some of those you really got to wait a mouth and some of them you just got to go like right in like immediately and get that combo <clears throat> so just keep that in mind little basic one there okay style branching combo Correct. that was not really that good of a combo i was just kind of kind of weak man Okay, finally you must complete a style branching combo that spans through the Black Dragon fighting styles. Okay. One seventy-five. Learn basic drag uh, Black Dragon trademark fighting moves. Not this next one. Okay, special attacks. The classic. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It, it looks pretty all right in this game. Not too bad. Well done. I'll try this one. Oh yeah, the class. Very good. <laughs> Man, uh, there there was I think in uh, MK3 Ultimate, if I'm re remembering this correctly, you could, like, like also do that in the air or some shit like that. It's just fucking wild. No match touch. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to fight to get back close again, just fucking do that one. A black dragon can perform any of the previous special attacks on command. Attack me with all of them. All of them if you can. Oh. Wow. That is so ghetto. Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> that fucking sound he made. <laughs> I don't think it's a very productive attack, man. <laughs> All right, 200. <laughs> now you must beat my ass. Do it. There. I did one of my combos. Now I'm just, now I'm just gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna stomp you with my fucking butt in the corner. <laughs> oh, come on, I was gonna do the other combo. <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. I was gonna do the other one. I, th I think it was the, um, the YXB1, YXA one I was gonna do, but I was too busy beating his ass in the corner with my foot. <laughs> All right. All right, now for the next one. Let's see here. Note, you must complete the Conquest Mode's main storyline to access this mission. Follow the path that leads behind the large temple in the area. Tanya will be standing there on the right side of the tower of the city. Okay. We have to finish the conquest mode, though. Okay. So we have to defeat Tanya while she's invisible. That's going to freaking suck. All right. We found her, Tanya. Okay. So we have to defeat her while she's invisible. And this is only available once you have completed the conquest mode. Interesting. All right.
No time limit, uh, but invisible. Well, there's always a time limit, I guess, but... Oh, shit. Don't do it. I can't fucking tell what's going on here. You safety moves. How do I do the torpedo again? Is it A? No. Well, hold on. What's the move again? The torpedo is B. I need like an area move. There. Just fucking accidentally defeat her. Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to use a torpedo, but <laughs> I kept pressing A instead of B. I've ran into a little bit of a snag here in, in uh, Nether Realm. So there's been a few missions that just never kind of appeared. I have finished the conquest mode as as you know clarification there. Um there was a Nightwolf quest that never appeared, and I just I don't know what to do about it. Like I, I did like the bear totem one. Then I went to the watchtower, like like in like a part two of the mission, like where he was supposed to be. He's not there. I've talked to Nightwolf again. I've went back and retraced my steps. I've spent like half an hour on this and I cannot start the quest. So we're going to do one more here. And then I believe we're going to go on ahead and just go over to Chaos Realm and start heading up the next place to see what we can do over there. So note this mission here has to be done after the completion of the Conquest Mode's main story. Search this area for a group of jagged stone jutting stones jutting upwards dairu dairu will be standing amongst them okay he's a bit hidden by these peaks so uh check near the wall of this area he should be found standing between two of these rocks speak to him to be challenged okay uh h6 uh let's see here defeat dairu during an earthquake it will rumble frequently causing loss of life to your character um Defeat him within the time limit. Okay, so we need to go to H6. I found a floating sword. Um, okay. There's a floating sword that I randomly found in Nether Realm that which I don't remember us ever getting a quest for, which is kind of concerning. It's a Chris Blade, Asha Sword. Return this. Oh, yeah. This is the freaking Adenia. Um, quest that we got from Ostra at like the very end of our conquest playthrough well shit we've actually already got this one's uh that one completed so uh yeah i'll just go return that to her later on okay we have a chest over here in h5 which is 300 jade coins all right i'm looking for dairu though oh there he is Right on. All right. Earthquake time. Let's see. Prepare for combat. This shouldn't be too bad, I would assume. We'll see. <laughs> you never know with this game, man. Some of them are really easy, then some of them are a little bit challenging. All right. During an earthquake. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I got you. Oh, shit. Never mind. I don't, I don't, I don't got you. I can't. Would, would you stop? Stop it. I'm going to elbow you with the power of my people. Wait, how do you do the fucking... Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Just barely. Like, wait a minute, I better cheese this guy out a little bit. <laughs> the freaking earthquake does quite a bit of damage, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grab it. Okay. What are you doing? I have my leg. <laughs> All right, sweet. Well, I guess we're going to go on ahead and head over to the... Um, probably the next realm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated Dairu, as you've just seen. And uh, now we're going to make our way to the good old uh, Realm of Chaos, which is going to be our next video and next part of this extras playthrough i'm trying my best here to do as much as i can find uh there's probably going to be undoubtedly like <clears throat> undoubtedly like missions that i either don't complete or can't find or because i've noticed there's like some missions actually like straight up missing 
Uh, I, I, I just mentioned it, but yeah, I've been having problems with like missions like not appearing. Even though I've got the conquest mode done, I'm doing everything in order. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, it's extras. Never leveled it to be 100%, but it's more. It's more MK Deception. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one in the Chaos Realm.